This is the actual shot of the rainbow of where she was found. Arching over a field, the field which in August of last year was filled with police vehicles, investigators, and crime scene tape. If you take away the crime scene, this is what was left with that light right there, and that's where she was found. The bright light, colorful rainbow, and Ellie Wyke's carefree spirit are what Ellie's family wants to share. For them, it's about how Ellie lived her life, not how it ended. When Ellie went missing, um, I prayed and let people know that I was praying that um, God shine light on the details that help us find her. And um, when she was found under a rainbow, that was an answer to prayer. Ellie's mother and sister still don't know all of the details surrounding Ellie's murder or the man who killed her. He took her last breath and with his breath he pled guilty. Their focus has never been on him. It's about spreading the joy and love Ellie brought into this world. She just touched everyone. From her childhood, which was filled with dirt and dresses. And she was filthy, but <laughs> she had to have the dress on and she had to be in the dirt. Ellie's love for the outdoors grew with her. A 23-year-old full of sunshine, sunflowers, and smiles. We have to celebrate Ellie. By treating people with kindness and by spreading positivity. Spreading kindness and love, joy, flowers, rainbows, sunshine. Celebrate mm -hmm. people. Tell people you love them. The Wikes try and surround themselves by daily reminders of Ellie. And I still come downstairs and I see her picture every morning and say, good morning, Ellie. And I just feel like she's saying, you know, good morning, Mom, love you. They wear her homemade jewelry and tie-dye and planted ginkgo trees at Keener Park. And they see a lot more rainbows these days, including the day Ellie was laid to rest. And there was a rainbow over the church. And then it was gone. And we started. But it was neon and, and it, it was, was bright. bright. Just like Ellie. And these are the two trees, uh, ginkgo trees here at Keener Park that were planted in her honor. You could see their perfect distance apart to hang a hammock, something they tell me Ellie would have loved. Now, Ellie's mother and sister are asking friends and family to come by here Easter Sunday, hang notes, messages of positivity. And I have a feeling these trees will be decorated in yellow also. That was Ellie's favorite color. Reporting live in Westchester, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.